Okay, so now after two years of waiting, here we are at, at our main event. This is the Transformers Studio Series Constructicon Devastator combination video. So, since it's been like two years since we got the first guy, which was this one, I thought we'd do it a little bit differently and just, you know, transform each of them from vehicle mode first to the requisite parts and then combine them. So let's do that. So starting with this guy. So first off, we remove this yellow bit. And at first I thought, what is this yellow bit for? You know? And he could have gone without that. But I think I think the main purpose of that yellow bit is to force us to buy skipjack. And you know, you'll see more on vehicle mode what on uh, combined mode what i mean but yeah i think that's the main purpose of that that bit so uh, okay i like to angle that like that just because of that one right uh, just because you know it it sits parallel same with the other side i like to angle it that way as well and then you just flip this thing out and there you go very simple transformation to the hand mode i know i know some people who actually unpick this to splay this out but i i don't think that is a necessity this is you know okay so let's leave that guy to the side and let's take a look at this guy this guy is again very simple so first thing Let's get that combiner pig out. Um, let's get that head out as well. Now the, these threads, they're supposed to unpeg. And there's a peg right there. So unpeg there and re-peg in at a diagonal like that. There you go. And just as an extra step, just because you know the CGI models of Devastator has this thing. Let's remove the claw. Has this thing facing back. I I like removing that and repegging it at an angle this way. So this is actually this hatch has a hinge. So I like pegging that back that way. That way it's more accurate to the CGI model. And then just clip that down. And probably the worst part of this guy is this. So pick that. I don't dislike that you can see the head right there. But anyway, that's that. Okay, so let's do... Who did we get next? I think we got Rampage next. So let's just do Rampage. And this is going to be similar to how Skipjack will be when he comes out. So with Rampage, first thing you do is you remove this. Put that to the side we'll put him put that back later on for stability now you unpick here let's unpick here as well oh i didn't pick that in <laughs> okay so first thing you do is you push that down push this all the way down that will allow us to twist this and then while in that configuration, flip this around and then we attach uh, that way. There you go. Now let's do the same on the other side. So make sure this is out of the way. Make sure this is out of the way. Again, twist this to, to half, flip this around, twist it back. Make sure it rests there. Uh, this can be a little bit tight. There you go. And now it's just a matter of putting this back. Putting that back. This one, just peg it as high as possible. There is a secondary peg there. That will see there is a peg 
right there which you're supposed to pick in the slot on the opposite side the second higher slot so that's where it's supposed to go and just rest that there for now now this bit you just rotate up that way pick this up okay now it's just a matter of bringing this together so what I want I'll, I do is I fold this higher and that will give us the clearance to actually so let's just pick these two together so see that hook there just hook that in uh, let's pick this as well so fold that down pick this pick this I just this one is personal preference now these hooks I like putting it that way to cover up the head now let's just leave it flat there oh no now the reason I do it that way is I want to re-pick this and this gives the feet a bit more stability so like that and it's barely visible anyway because it's black so you, depending on your um, you know, base, but yes, yeah, it's, it's at the bottom of the feet anyway, so it's barely vis visible. And the threads are there as well, so there you go. That's one leg. Who did we get next? I think we got long hole next, so let's do long hole. Uh, long hole, so you unpick these parts and these parts. That's tight. Um, Pull that out. Pull that out. Before we do anything, let's unpick this part. Let's pick, un unpick the feet from the main body and start rotating it up. So before you rotate it up, you actually have to fold this that way. There you go. Now you re-pick the arms. But this time you rotate this around. So let's rotate that around. You re pick the arm onto the hole where it was pegged in vehicle mode. Make sure it's flush. And now with this facing to the back, so there is a slot there and a slot there. And there are two pegs here and there, so just make sure you align that when you peg this in. Let's see. I'll put that into the hole first. And then peg this in. Make sure everything's pegged together. Let go. Do that bit as well on the other side. There you go. Now there is a peg there on that slot there, so just it will just snap there. And these wheels can go higher or lower. Personal preference, I just leave it down. There, this goes down. And in the CGI model, one of the wheels are out on the side, but not on the other, so I like to not remove it but I like to oh, first time that happened to me I like to put one wheel at the back just to match the CGI model so that's one foot down who did we get next I think we got this guy next so first thing you do mm, broken doggy there that really makes me sad so first thing you do is remove the front grill thing lift this up open that up pull the face out give me your face devastator this can be a little bit tight okay put that down flip those out pegs will go to the holes so just re-peg it there there you go now this part there is a bit of trickery there so let's just do that 
So just unpack this and unpack this. So let's just open him up basically. Let's unpack the middle part here as well. Okay. Mm, something's not giving. Mm. Okay, let's unpack the feet. There you go. Now there's a, a few pegging points here. And they were well, probably unpegged when I tried to connect him to scavenger. But let me just show you how they're pegged together. So first things first. Uh, let's unpeg it here and rotate it down. Make sure that's still pegged. This, this whole thing will stay as is. Same for the other side. That whole thing will be as in vehicle mode. Okay, rotate this down. Now that peg will now go on the lower peg while it was the on the higher peg in vehicle mode, if you remember. There you go. Uh, okay, split the feet as in robot mode. And see those, see that um, little peg there? There is actually a matching slot right there. So that will slot in there. I mean, it's not a tight slot. It will probably unpeg many times during this video. But you now it's there as a reminder of how it's supposed to peg, I guess. Same on the other side. Okay, let's leave that for now. And then these parts, we just rotate these flat as in robot mode. Now peg the top half of the mixer together. Make sure that's folded in. And okay, now we can peg this. Let's peg that. I wish that was a bit tighter what can you do it's a very small peg so it's easy to unpeg as well and then just these feet will peg right here as well and then rest that down okay and then this thing will peg right at the back and it will serve as a reminder that these should be in a certain position. Okay. Oh, sorry. Wrong orientation. They should be there. Okay. So that's the head. Leave that to the side. And then I believe we got scavenger next. Oh no, we got scrapper next. So scrapper is a bit simple. Just unpick this, unpick this, rotate that around. Um, this is personal preference, uh, but I like doing it this way. And then these feet, these wheels, you just unpick, and then you're supposed to repick them. So we we unpeg that peg to that slot. We're now going to peg that peg onto the slot at the top. So it will oh, let's lift that up. It's supposed to peg like that, and that gives it a bit of a smaller, a slimmer profile, as well as angles these things out. So yeah, that is Scrapper. Okay, let's do this big guy. Now there's a lot of st stuff here that you need to remember. I'll make it more stable and less prone to breakage just because of the supports. So 
we'll show you that so first off you split this up split okay and split this as well go ahead and pick that out now remember this face will be at the back of the figure so rotate this so that that slot is facing forward and the face is at the back okay now you rotate this rotate this forward transform it a la you know robot mode and then peg in a slot peg in a slot you just fold that down and peg them together and then there's these pegs in the slot there at the top as well so this should be a nice tight fit i like resting the face there and i'll show you that later on and this one i also like I'm not sure. I don't know if this is official or what, but I like resting these here as well. And this ensures this doesn't flap around. You know, that's the other bit. So this thing tends to flap around. If you push, put that there, it will hold it in place. Now rotate this up. Oh, rotate it this way now pick these together pick this in and then that will slot there it's not a no it is a tight pig and now you rotate this let's see rotate this part over and before i had this thing at the bottom this should be at the bottom and that peg should go to that slot and it's a bit of a tight peg so that holds that pretty nicely let's rotate this around And then this one you just how did I have this before oh like that okay let's do the same on the other side oh this is already picked so let's leave that picked rotate this up connect uh, and then peg okay rotate there you go that's the configuration you want it to be okay last bit best for last this guy take that out <sighs> give me a little bit of breathing time okay First thing you do is you unpick this back portion and pick that, swivel it in, pick it again. Okay, that's it for now. Split this up before you do that. Rotate that out, split that. That's it. That's it for the back part of the front part of the car. Let's do this one, split this. Now that first ratchet joint or ratchet point is for robot mode you put it down and then do another ratchet point that is for your um, combined mode do the same here one more ratchet point for this bigger joint there you go <sighs> tiring okay then you rotate this forward unpick this front part 
just the front part okay this bit rotate forward and lift that tab up holding that in place now what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to peg it facing down this way so instead of pegging on that lower hole pegging on the higher hole there and then there's that clipping point and there's a clip right there so just clip that on and peg that on that's it do the same on the other side uh, yep and peg this that and peg and re-peg on the higher joint and clip into place make sure that stays there okay that's it that's your individual pieces uh, that can reset so that's your individual pieces now <sighs> so let's do the legs per first so this one so that's the left um or right leg you can't really put them on the other leg just because it's it will slot in this bigger gap here so those two clips right so let's do that okay and let's do the other side so you're supposed to peg it all the way up so there is space to get it all the way up so just smooth that out of the way this takes a bit of doing especially the first few times better to hold it here just peg it so it's all the way in there you go and remember how i said this bit is for you so you're gonna buy skipjack if you don't buy skipjack peg it here you'll have that ye yellow yellow out of place thing right there <sighs> okay now let's do the upper body oh let's first let's combine this guy with this guy so what you're supposed to do is that peg will go into that slot so of that hook will unhook just hook it back again later on so just slot that in that's it and then just put this back on that's your left hand of the devastator okay now arguably the toughest part of this transformation putting this there so what what you're supposed to do is see those holes uh, inside those wheels so those holes on opposite sides will sandwich this long bar here and then see those smaller cylinders there you're supposed to peg those there so this takes a bit of doing and it will probably unpeg some parts of this leg so let's just peg it first and then re-peg the leg later on so yep There you go, and then clip. There you go. On the one hand, the clearances are really bad, which makes it difficult. On the other hand, once you put that in, that won't come off unless you want it to come off. Okay, there you go. You might need to push this a little bit down. Let's push this a little bit down.
There you go. On the other side, yep. And then let's just put this back into position there. Okay. Push the head down there. Okay. And let's re-peg this. So again, peg this underneath. This underneath there. And put this back on. Okay. Halfway through, so let's raise the camera up a little bit. Okay. Now, what you're supposed to do is... There's that, get out of the way. There's this long bar here. You can see there's like an, an shape, like an eye there. You're supposed to slot that onto that gap there. So let's do that. Just rotate this feet forward. Then just slot that in. Lastly, need to attach the arms. So this is the left arm or right arm. You just twist that in there in whatever orientation you want to have it. This will make the guy a little bit front heavy. So just adjust as you go. Do the same on the other arm. I like to splay the legs out a little bit. And then lastly, this part goes at the back of the head. So just push that in. It will be floppy, but when you fold the smokestacks in, it rests a little bit better. And I like to splay this out as well. And I like to splay this this leg part out as well. Please don't. No, there's no official place for that. But I like splaying it out just to give him a little bit more girth. If that makes sense. And there you go. And there you go. There you have Studio Series Devastator in his fully formed combined mode. And I must say, he's one awesome bot. And he's probably my favorite piece in the collection now. Just to give you a rough size comparison, right here he is with Studio Series Optimus Prime. So definitely bigger than the Voyager. And I know I have him here. Oh, there you go. Here he is with Jetfire. So, yeah. It's a massive, massive robot. But looking closer at this guy, right? This guy has a lot of, of detail. So looking at the face sculpt first. Oh, that is an awesome, awesome face sculpt. I know it's missing a few details here and there but for the most part i think that captures the look of devastator a uh, good degree now looking at the arms they do have you know lots of mechanical details there as well as on the legs as well Unfortunately, yeah, they gave us this yellow uh, flap just 
to make this guy stand out or that little piece stand out rather um yeah and it practically forces you to get skipjack unless you take that out and connect that there or somewhere else but anyway um uh, from the side he oh, he does have a really good profile from the side and like from the back again oh you can see the face but you can fold that face down and then from the back it does look like a clean clean transformation now i know there is that configuration and i've tried that a couple of times where you have him crouching down and crawling but due to the fact that you know i've, I've mentioned that in my review of scavenger these pegs i think are a bit fragile so i don't want to put any weight there aside from the hands so i'll keep him in this configuration just to you know keep the figure top-notch quality now in terms of articulation this is probably where this figure fails um the head does look left and right a little bit and that is because of that wheel thingy now when it does turn left and right it brings the whole arm with it you know it's there if you need it but it's not that much to be honest now the arm does have a swivel there and a swivel there so it will go forward and back and this will go up and down but due to how heavy this guy is yeah you have to you have to pose him in such a way that you support the weight of that so i don't know maybe force because he will be front heavy so maybe put that foot forward or something i mean it can be done just you know when you pose the arms in, in a way you support it with the legs if you know what i mean uh, what else so there is a swivel at the top of the elbow there there's a swivel there but that's for transfer that's for the scavenger robot mode there is a elbow joint there there is another joint here there are one two three points of articulation on each finger and this one also has three points of articulation the other side it does have that elbow still and then these three claw parts do move independently so one two joints for each of these two and one two three for this one all right now for the bottom part there it does have that heavy ratchet there but you can always only have it in like compressed configuration and slightly out configuration so there's only three like ratchet points there it does have this heavy ratchet for the thigh swivel no knee joint and then each foot will have you know pivot as well as up and down motion pivot on this side is ratcheted pivot on the other side is not so yeah I mean, final thoughts this guy is an awesome figure it, it does not come without its flaws as i've said it is a bit top heavy although certain poses you can support it you know by properly configuring the legs and the arms so that the weight is supported um it can do the crouching crawling pose but i would you know i would warn you against doing that just because of how uh, fragile the shoulder joints are other than that i think this is an awesome figure and well worth the two-year wait and he does strike an imposing you know imposing stature in your collection so yeah if you like that review please do leave a like leave a comment do subscribe this has been grim trigger and this has been the studio series devastator thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video